Hey you guys, it's your girl Earth Mother. Welcome back to my channel. So number one, I have not made a commentary video in a while and it's because I literally like y'all like basically I feel like I have no thoughts on anything like there's no situation that has happened in like almost all of 2020 even though 2020 has just been crazy there has been no really situations that I just feel deserve more than like two sentences because honestly like all these situations are just nuts but I made a commentary video today and I was like oh no we gonna scratch all that we gonna scratch all that because I got something to say about today and I'm really excited to make this video I like rushed home I was like you know what my second church announcement I wasn't even gonna make this video I was not even gonna make this video because I was like I don't want to draw more attention to it because I'm sure Smokey doesn't want me to draw more attention to it and like probably Angelica doesn't want anybody to draw more attention to it but when I saw Rich Lux made a video I said okay let's go let's go let's go so if you don't know Angelica Oles and Smokey Glow recently did a collaboration during Smokey Glow's Glowmas so that's like her version of Vlogmas because she doesn't vlog and there was some pushback so there was some pushback um these are the two sides right here so basically from my research because I don't really y'all I don't really like know Angelica Oles like that like I watched a couple of her videos but to be honest I really don't find her that entertaining or like amusing so 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 what had happened was back in August apparently Angelica got called out for being microaggressive towards black women and there is some transphobic stuff in there, like some misgendering and stuff like that. I don't know about all that because I don't got nothing to do with me. If she did that, that she's wrong for that. She needs to apologize for that. And if she did, good, whatever. She's wrong for that. I'm not speaking on that. Now, as far as the microaggressions, I picked that up from the beginning. That was another reason that I didn't really fool with her because I was just like, mm, mm. but I didn't really expect anything more because she is a British white girl. Like what, like what am I to expect? Like, I don't. Like, I don't really know her like that. So they said she was being microaggressive towards black women when it came to Kylie Jenner saying, you know, she lives in like basically saying that like the Kardashians live in black women's head rent free. And we just need to basically just shut the hell up. So with that being said, Smokey got some pushback for doing the collaboration with her. Right? Right. So these are the two sides. So we have one side over here. That's like, okay, you know what? I didn't really like that Smokey did the collab with Angelica because I don't really like Angelica like that. But I appreciate the apology. You know what I'm saying? Like the apology was cool. We have another side that is like you shouldn't have basically thrown Angelica under the bus and um, like you're doing too much. Like basically you're not a good friend. Basically you're you're disassociating from Angelica because you don't want to be canceled too right right okay so then the drama channels get to tweet okay <laughs> so then the drama channels get to tweet because they always got to get tweet so i see dustin daily tweet and this is the, this is the thing about dustin and nick i haven't been talking about dustin and nick and rich i haven't been talking about them because for what like for what nobody has so whatever but dustin and nick get to tweeting right and they're essentially saying that they don't appreciate how Smokey handles her friendships when it comes to YouTube. That's what I'm getting from the tweets. Like they're basically saying they don't appreciate it. Because if you, if you, lest you forget, if you forgot, like last summer, I think it was, um, Nick was having a party. He invited Smokey. She didn't go. She told YouTube she wasn't going. She told him she wasn't going, but I don't think that she, she told YouTube she was going, but I don't think that she told Nick that she wasn't going yet. I believe, I believe that that was what the issue was. And I understood that, like, you know, tell people, like inform people why, as to why you're not going to go. So I give them that. I don't know if she spoke to Angelica because Angelica ain't talking. She ain't talking. She's not on Twitter. She ain't talking. So I don't know how she's feeling. I feel like she is in people's DMs because people seem to be very outspoken for her right now. Let me tell you something right now. Smokey is not associated with this video at all. I don't talk to that girl like that. I don't know her like that. So she's not associated with this video. But let me tell you something. Rich Lux had a question in his video. Rich Lux wanted to know why would Smokey want to appeal to public opinion when it comes to YouTube friendship? Let me give you a 
quick little secret because everybody don't want to end up like you <laughs> like everybody don't want to be you everybody don't want to end up like you everybody does not want to have your reputation like these drama channels wonder why Smokey moves the way that she moves because she's not she's y'all are not cut from the same cloth obviously like you are not her and she will never be you like you're why she ain't go to the party because she don't want to be seen with y'all she don't fuck with y'all like that and that's the thing she can't say it but i can say it. she don't fuck with y'all like that she did want to be seen with y'all then understandably why like we see how that party turned out for everybody she did not go to that party because she did not want to be associated with the people at that party she's disassociating from angelica because she don't want to be seen like angelica like she don't want to look like you and she's not like y'all so when y'all wonder why she don't move like y'all move why would she like <laughs> when has it ever been good for you guys like we see the views we see what the reputation <laughs> like it's really not a question to it like I don't understand what's confusing about it like she doesn't want to be seen like the rest of these drama channels and that's another problem they have she doesn't consider herself a drama channel why would she <laughs> like why why would she like she makes commentary videos and she does talk tutorials and makeup reviews like why would she consider herself a drama channel quickly like why would she consider herself a drama channel because she makes opinion video she's a commentary nobody looks at her like a oh the drama channel smoky glove no no that's what we look at y'all for that's what we look at y'all for and why are y'all mad about it why do y'all care why do y'all care so bad because y'all are the only ones that look at her as a drama channel y'all know that right like nobody else is looking at her like that so that's only y'all so i'm just trying to like I think I'm just frustrated because there are there are people that Smokey messes with that I don't mess with and I don't fool with that she could have easily been like people could have pressed her over that like she messes with general reviews I don't mess with her I don't mess with her like she messes with or she used to anyways um what is his name Alex Alex oh my god what was his name he was a commentary uh channel from australia i can't even remember his name but he she did a collaboration with him i don't mess with him because he want to flip flop and be for jeffree star and shane dawson one day and the next day no so th see these are people that she messes with or have in the past that i don't fool with angelica nobody even knew about this shit <laughs> like i didn't even know about this shit i didn't know about it because we're not checking for angelica like that like we're not checking for her like that so so like i don't really like i don't know like i don't know like what well, i feel like i feel like a lot of people have just been waiting because here's this is the thing about smoky glow i'm gonna do my own little evolution of smoky glow the thing about hannah is that she has placed herself in this position where she is kind of like a moral compass like she is kind of that girl so i feel like people feel like she kind of puts herself on this pedestal and that she can't be knocked off of it but I don't think that that's the case like I don't feel like Hannah thinks that that's the case I just think that that is how she is positioned and I feel like people want to jump on her the minute like this is the first like scandal Smokey's kind of been in you know what I mean and whenever you see somebody that's always commenting on other people's behavior and always like you know giving their opinions about situations and things like this like other youtubers like like smoky gives her opinion on situations like this like if this happened with other youtubers she would probably talk about it so now that it's her people want to go hard and all i'm saying is don't cover my bitch don't cover my bitch that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying you need to leave her alone because she didn't and she didn't even do the crime like I have friends, y'all, I have friends that do not like Smokey. Like, I know this, they know it. Like, they know I like her and I, they, I know that they don't like her. And that's fine. That's fine if she's not for everybody. But this situation, like, y'all should be mad at Angelica. First of all, Smokey took the video down. She took the video down. And she made a public apology. And one, I thought the public apology was doing too much. Like, girl, you could have just said, me and, Smoke, me and uh, Angelica talked about this behind the scenes. I'm going to private this video. I'm sorry to y'all da, 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 da. but the the funny part is this is the funny part for the people that are mad at Smokey for doing this because she is apologizing to the people that Angelica offended y'all are basically like saying like girl the makers like <laughs>
Girl, forget them trans people. Like, you're, they gonna be okay. You ain't have to do all that smoking. You ain't have to do all that. You ain't have to apologize to the kids because Angelica did mess. Like, that's really what y'all are saying. Like, and you don't even, y'all don't even realize it. Y'all don't even realize it. Like, let Smokey get her apology off. Angelica gonna be okay. She gonna be okay. She got a Tesla and 400,000 subscribers. She gonna be okay. She will be fine. You need her. The people that are defending her, especially the ones on YouTube, y'all need her way more than she needs you. Y'all need the views. Y'all need the subscribe. Y'all need her way more than she needs you. So ye, she will be fine. Y'all will be fine. Y'all will be fine. So yeah, y'all. That's essentially just like a little breakdown of what happened. It's so, it's so meaningless. And in the grand scheme of 2020, like <laughs> to wrap up this year, the very last month of this year to wrap it up, it is very meaningless. Angelica made a mistake. Smokey Glow collaborated with her. Smokey Glow apologized and retracted the video and retracted her um support or whatever the case may be if you're mad about it go to church i don't know what to say if you're fine with it then be fine like that's, <laughs> like that's all there is to it like we have such bigger fish to fry like we have bigger fish to fry there has been there has been worse by worse there has been there has worse has been done by worse people and that's all y'all need to know so anyways I hope you guys liked the video. I love y'all so much and I will see you in the next one.